Got a little I pull, you pull, pick and pull run with some of the new stuff that I have from Milwaukee's. Doing a quick review basically of the Milwaukee pack out. So I'll kind of be putting this thing on my head when I start to pull some stuff out and we'll get some footage, but man, it makes, makes life pretty easy. Here's another E36, pretty beat. Two door. Honestly, pretty freaking disgusting. Like what the hell? I I'm not gonna lie though. Like something like this, it does kind of make me sad. Cause I'm like, you couldn't put this on freaking Craigslist for free. Cause it's a two door. You know how much these things go for? Like three grand, good luck. And it got forklift hard and everything. This, perfect chassis for a race car or for a spec racer. And then when they end up at the junkyard, you're kind of screwed. And then when they're on Craigslist, everyone wants three grand for them, even when they're auto. I don't know when the floor looks like that though. This is pretty disgusting. This one uh, saw its demise, looks like in an accident. So a blowout to uh, tire death. Sometimes you can kind of tell what happened wheel obviously got shoved up in there so this was probably running fine we got the meth special of the day guarantee this person was on quite a bit of drugs all right so we got some speaker wiring going right through here just tucked into the fender nice and good this whole thing is like spray painted i've never seen more dents on a bmw this is destroyed looks like it was hit with a hammer that forklift damage whatever but this is disgusting here you go here's another meth special uh look at that oh yeah if you paint your steering wheel i'm just gonna say you're on something you are weird this is nasty this is literally taped and then like this oh that thing will literally give you aids if you touch it wrong i guarantee all right everything else in here Nora's actually grabbing something that's a clean, that's that, a clean breeze that's clean so even though this car is absolutely disgusting oh look at that look at a screw in the dash right bro and like look at this Dude. stuff like what is this Dude, a ship of gear. Well, yeah, yeah like window ball. tint job, just boom. Oh, yeah. This, <laughs> what is that, <laughs> Every bro? sign of this points to methamphetamines. If you pull this guy over, search his car. That's all I can say. People people always wonder, why why, uh, why do cops pull me over? And uh, Well, maybe because your car looks like this. Anyways, uh, totally spray painted on the backside. Spray, spray painted totally. here. This is absolutely hideous. This is probably one of the worst BMWs I've ever seen in my life. However... It does have a Flowmaster sticker, so I don't know. Maybe that's cool. It could just be a sticker. <laughs> could just be a sticker. Okay, so we're gonna go to another car. I found an M50 manifold, so that's actually worth some dough. This one actually has an M50 manifold. However, it's tweak special, and they like spray painted it. So I don't care about that. That's disgusting. Someone, hey, let's clean the engine with black spray paint. Mm, okay, cool. Again, only something on uh, someone. On drugs would do oh but there is new car scent so that's good also if you ever see a car with hell of those flying from the thing the car was not maintained so i would never pull anything off of an engine on a car that looks like this because guaranteed it's broken and that car ran until the last drop of oil was in it let's go uh check out this other car it's pretty gross but uh it does have some good parts on it and also nor what are you thinking of this setup bro I used to struggle. Like I used to come here with my bag that weighs 70 pounds, drag it, and all the stuff that I have on on my back. This is super convenient. It is a little overkill. I'm not gonna lie. It's overkill. Um, it's overkill. But I mean, he has everything he needs, which is so convenient. I got it all except for a Phillips screwdriver. However, <laughs> however, <laughs> guys, that Milwaukee, that fastback, boom, coming in clutch with the Phillips. So I grabbed all flatheads because we're doing a bunch of clips. The storage compartment right here. Oh yeah. So I got that where we can put stuff. Oh, awesome. uh, two quick come ups. We got these little AC alternator vent thingies. M50 manifold right here. So I'm going to yank this bad boy. Uh, fuel rail, I'm going to leave. I'm not huge on these uh, particular fuel rails. I know a lot of, woo, a lot of people like them, but uh, it's not my cup of tea. I like a different version of it, which actually reminds me. I need to look that up because I may need to snag a few of those if they're here. That will do later. I need to get some other stuff. I need a high pressure power steering line which is right there i guess oh this has the newer style pump so actually i'm gonna skip on this pump i found another car with the proper line that i need all right guys so we're gonna go pop up here we're gonna grab this m50 manifold this is how i like to do it um make sure that thing doesn't come back on my face i just literally stand on everything i bring my nice stuff i bring power tools 
because it makes this fast. Look at that spider, dude. That's a Black Widow smash. I don't even know how it looks like that. It looks literally insane. But uh, anyways, oh, I brought two quarter. I forgot this had quarter, dude. Oh, no, it doesn't. Wait, yeah, it does. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, let's get down to it. I think we got like 13s. I think these are all 13s if I, no, nope, they're 10s. 10s on the fuel rail. I'm into keeping all the hardware when I do this stuff, or at least I try my best. Okay, looks good. Like, what is this? That part's done, but I think that's removable. It's like a little coin tray thing. I have one of those in mind. Just right. check it out and see if that comes apart, because I think that's a... Piece. I like how the cup holders just move forward on this one. It's more practical. My cup holders are underneath the freaking armors. Mm -hmm. Damn. It's like, do we know he's signing up for this today? Nope. But, I mean, bro, that is, that's a win right there. Holy crap. Go on eBay real quick up. Look up M50 manifold. Can you give me a 10 millimeter wrench? Plus 40 shipping. Use one for 215. See, so. M50, right? Yeah. This one says M50 and S50. It's the same thing. Yeah. 95 it's, S50. Yeah, and there's another one for 224. So, anyways, expensive. Yeah, there's some aftermarket ones that look pretty nice. Yeah. But they're also like 500 bucks. Plus, plus they're different. China. And like who knows if they're actually like good so does that actually have horsepower differences or this right here yeah yeah you make more power damn better than a turbo kit then well not necessarily but you don't want to track like, you don't want to track with a turbo kit yeah you get heat soaking shit huh mm-hmm this you get seat time this car you'll be able to go out and lap and lap and lap and lap and lap you get a turbo car you're gonna be like coming in after three things like damn my car's so slow I know there's more stuff over on this side. I gotta get off. You guys hope. Uh, catch you guys later. Yeah. Can you actually put these, see all those random bolts? Yeah. Throw those, and then I have a bunch of random bolts in there. Just throw them in the, the, the fucking hole okay. thing. Actually put them in here. That's why I bought, that's why I bought, bought this, brought this for bolts. Just put them in the holes there. I like to keep whatever hardware because. You never know when you need them. Hmm. Yeah, bro, you come soon. Well, because you never know. You could literally, we could find a ZF5 speed and be like. It'll come back tomorrow and it's gone. Exactly. Uh, did you see, do, do, you have, do you have any more here? Should I go look around? There was another car, a couple rows that way. It was kind of gross. Um, but in the, the next three rows, you'll find a couple things. Um, I'll go look through them. BRB. They were uh, they were pretty nasty though. Hey, uh, look for a nice floor mat or something that I can throw on the floor here when I grab these pedals. Okay. Just look for something clean I can put on the seat and the floor. Okay. Cause this shit nasty. Might need something smaller. That could go on the seat though. Cause that ain't bad on the seat. I don't know. 
That ain't too gross. And then nice floor mat. Okay. Probably like a rear, like find like a rear floor mat because those are usually cleaner. There are like chunks of metal in this pitch. Oof. And it's probably not worth it then, dude. I don't think so. Yeah, that's not something you want to get in Just your motor. Later. I might actually have fucked up my motor if I yep. my shit in. Show that. Oh. Alright guys, not sure if my camera's still on, but there is literal chunks of uh of metal in this in this thing. So I don't know, I guess the guy blew the motor. I was about to get those last two bolts on this M50 manifold. I had this nice extension ready to go. I mean, look at that. Making it easy and everything, but anyways, I'm gonna ditch that because that's a great way to blow a motor. So definitely something to keep an eye out for when you're pulling out parts. If you see any issues there, you know, be aware. Uh, the gauge cluster in this thing's pretty decent. I almost thought about taking that. Um, I might take one of these little door handle things. Anyways, let's get back to it. Okay, so biggest thing from here, is my red light on? Uh, no. Oh, the red light, yeah. Biggest thing from here is uh, just making sure we have everything in our tool kit. So this one looks good. I'm gonna close this up till I move on to the next job because I don't want to leave anything under the hood on this car. That was actually a good clip, but that thing's exploded. So kind of pissed that that happened, but also glad that we noticed it because you don't want to put chunks of metal into your intake. That's no good. That's not something you want to do. Okay, I'm missing a 13 mil somewhere, which is right here. Like I was saying, before you move on at pick and pull, or wherever you are, great idea, scan your tools, close it up, move to the next spot. That's why I like these. See, when you have everything everywhere, it's not as easy to keep track of stuff. So yeah, anyways, we're gonna move on to the clutch pedals and that line actually underneath the car so we do need to get to that still We're gonna work on taking out the pedal assembly. Oh, I'm actually glad I'm taking one out because we're gonna about, about to put one back in. So I'll have it fresh in our minds. Um, we're gonna remove all this stuff down below. I'll actually hand you what you need because I think you're gonna need like a 13 mil wrench or something. See the, uh, oh, watch your eyeballs too. There was like some gasoline dripping. Do you have any glasses? Yeah, I think so. See this one right here? We need to take this metal one off at the top. The metal one at the top is the one we're trying to save. This one? Mm-hmm. See that little thing? So I think use a wrench on that line right there oh, at the top. On the top yeah. And then you need to hold the bottom because it might twist on you. I don't know if this is the right size. Yeah, I think so. I think it's those two right there. You need to get that off. 
just loosen that up and then that'll be yeah and then i can pull it out when we pull out the pedals that's the main line that we were missing okay oh safety glasses you were saying All right, guys. So I'm working with this for whatever hardware I take off, I'm gonna throw into this bad boy right here. Um, that way we don't lose any screws or bolts. It's so nice when you can be like mean to shit. Well, yeah, it's nice when you don't have to be nice to it, you know? What up? It's not? What size is it? Bigger? I just guessed, so. Yeah, you don't want to strip it out either. Here you go. Maybe a 12? Wait, you said too big, right? It needs to be perfect, because that's a fitting that needs to have tension on both sides, and you just got to crack it and make sure you don't strip it. Because if it gets stripped, then we're kind of fucked. Then we got to find another one. What? Inline six, yeah. Cut the what? Hmm. I'm about to make myself a custom knee pad. Custom knee pad time. Oh yeah, look at that. Luxury. Whew, look at me. <laughs> you like that? Okay. Did you get dripped on at all or are you good? Uh, not oil, it's just a bunch of dirt. Oh, I think the water shit is not water. So I was saying, I think it's uh... No, I think it's fuel. From me cutting the uh... Fuel line up there like a dick. Trying to take something. Kind of forgot about that. Okay. Where'd 
we're gonna take all these off right here. Bunch of tin mills. I wish this seat was back a little farther, but it's not. But hey, what can you do? Work with short people here, I guess. Unfortunately, this wasn't a tall person. Now this thing comes out, once you bring this out, nor once you bring this out, yeah, it gets little... much easier. Yeah. Didn't you do that last time? I figured that out in the end. Gotcha. There's no way, like, I'm like, up there and I'm like, oh shit. Yeah. All right, so we got wires. So we just cut the wires, that way we have the connectors, just in case we need it for anything. And actually we do, because we are gonna be splicing this uh brake switch onto the clutch switch basically so that'll work out well let's see what else we got up here if we can smash any of this shit out of the way oh that clicks out that's nice remove anything that's in our way we've got a usb aux get that out of the way we'll get this out of the way we don't need that okay and it looks like we got a wire we got a bolt where is it right there so that one feels like at least a 13. It is 13 millimeter there. Okay, put the bolts in here. I'm gonna set you guys up down here at the bottom. Kind of looking at everything. Hopefully we can kind of see what's going on there with the GoPro. I'm sorry if the view sucks, but we're gonna get back here to the bolts in the firewall. This should be four. One, two, two nuts like that. That's why I love power tools. It makes your life so much easier and extensions. It makes your life a freaking breeze. Okay, so the one, a little more difficult to get to. Maybe I'm going to use the um, quarter inch drive, 13, with an extension. That way I can get in there and snake it. Who is that? Is that you? Is that you, Nor? Yeah. Okay. Making sure we don't got a thief in our mitts. So right here, I am basically just trying to snake, snake through this spring area. There's a spring right there. Honestly, if I can, I don't really even want to take off any of this stuff or disassemble any of it. I literally want to take it out as one unit and a whole piece. And then we can't cut the line because the line is the most important part that we're actually looking for. I should say the second most important part. There's a couple other gut pieces here, some plastic pieces that I was watching a video. Uh, I will link, we'll link his video down below. I uh, forget what his name is, M Nice or something like that. Uh, I know you're on throttle, really nice kid, and you do an awesome video. So good job on that, bro. You did a really good job on your video. Um, and that helped me out a lot watching that last night, realizing we're missing some stuff. So now, let's see what I got hanging up on some bolts. Um, obviously the line is here. Shoot. So I may have to take off. I don't know. May have to take off the slave, maybe, and just disconnect it. Just have it hanging. Um, because that. It's a little bit of a pain and we got to disconnect that from the from the car right there uh so this right here guys the last little line is the uh line that we needed <laughs> unfortunately this slave is literally the different style it actually has a threaded in piece which i prefer i don't know why the one they gave us um had the little clip in not a huge fan of the clip in honestly I'd rather have this kind of screw-in style situation here. Um, but yeah, so hopefully this works. It looks pretty clean. I don't know, the clutch pedal felt firm when I first pushed on it. So we're hoping it's gonna be good. We're just gonna use that. Um, if it doesn't, if it has issue, we'll change that out. But for now, this is what's gonna happen. All right guys, so full pedal assembly here. Every single nut, screw, bolt, 
all of those things. Um, we were missing the little double plastic piece right here. We're missing the pin that kind of goes in here. Um, so that was an issue. I don't know about these bolts if we had them. Not really totally sure. Uh, we have all the brake switches, all of this stuff. It does not have, yeah, it does. It has a clutch safety switch right here. Um, I don't remember if that was gonna work on the other one. It might have. Anyways, we got all that stuff. Pedals look good and a good brake. And we got both rubbers. So good to go on that. Oh, 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 oh,